Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to edit a part's properties and what all you can change. So let's start by right clicking and we'll insert a part. Now here's our part and here on the right I have the properties window open. This is where you can change all of a part's properties. And right up here in the upper left hand corner under the view tab, this is where you can open up, you can close and open up that window so that you can change it. So right at the top we have our brick color. This is the color of our part so we can change it to whatever we want. Nice red, maybe some green. And let's try this. Alright, now the material is next. This is where you can change to whatever material you want. Here we can make it granite or cobblestone and you can select from a whole list of different materials here. We also have reflectancy which will make it more reflectant though it doesn't always work depending on the material. Some mate only I think plastic, smooth plastic, materials like that will be affected by transparency. Some of the other materials already have their reflectancy set. Um, you also have your transparency so how transparent your brick is if you want to be able to see through it. I'll just undo that. This is its position in uh, world position so mm, that's just where it is in your game. We also have its rotation and these um, right here when you first insert a part normally it will not be anchored. Um, if it is anchored that means that it will not move when you play your game. If it is not that allows it to be more interactive and move about. Um, down here we also have its form factor. This is important when you're trying to resize a part. Um, the, normally the default setting for parts is symmetric. However, if you want to set your part smaller than one stud on any side, you will want to set its form factor to custom. And then here we have its size. So let me demonstrate. If I have it symmetric and I want to change this end property to only 0.2 studs, It'll only set it down to one because it's on symmetric. However, if I set it back to custom and I retried that, it will set it to 0.2 studs. Now, you may have noticed these studs on the top of the part and sometimes they're cool, but often you don't want those. So if you go to the very bottom of the properties, to surface you can select what surface you want right now we want smooth however you can also set it to be um, there are motors there's hinges studs universal which is practically studs and inlets and then I believe that's about it so if you have any other questions, send me a PM or leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you. And I hope this helps.